Hey there, True Believers, Rain Kisaragi here with Let's Take a Look At. I know I already did Bloodstained before, but that was the demo. This is, well, still the demo, but it's the backer beta demo. Uh, I have not actually touched, I just finished downloading this, actually. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and press the any key on my controller. Where's the any key? Uh, these are the settings we have. Uh, hopefully these work fine for recording. Uh, okay. Good enough, I know, the, I, know, I know enough of the controls to go. So let's go ahead and start the game. And this one. Oh, handy. It's actually really cool that they give you this now. That's cool. So B has no use though. Very well. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders and in doing so through the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the Shardbinders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Chibol, a boy for whom by some miracle the right did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual, That's how it's right. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. Oh, that's once I didn't, I didn't have to read the opening crawl. That's cool. And yeah, as you saw in the corner, that was uh, my computer recognizing this is a game that I own. So this is how how blind I'm going into this. Johannes, are you certain it was? It was Jebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. But now he's the bad guy. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? It's a really long nap. I wish I had the answer. It was me. 
All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. That's that's very talented of you, Johannes. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. All right. Let us investigate. Let's see. We have knife and kung fu shoes. Mm, let's go kung fu shoes. Hmm. All right. I have no shards. Okay, so shards look good. like good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to. Oh, nah. I'll take care of it. It's a squiddly. Yeah! Oh! Ah! Was that a shard? No, I was just stabbed by a big red thing. I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Sounds horrible. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. Mm. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Wilhelm. Oh, he's How did they get inside? Same way this one did? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Rather <laughs> spunky protagonist, aren't you, Miriam? <laughs> yeah! So, we can punch, we can backstep. I wonder if there's a uh, ward <laughs> we need to get hit yeah! by to get sent flying through the areas and keep our gear. Or death steals all, but that's an obscure reference. Oh, it's telling me to double jump. Oh, this is, oh, this is like, this is like the, uh, the original demo. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. That's interesting. I should use some magic. Yep. 
Can get up here. Oh, yeah. Instead, let's use the knife instead. Oh, it's actually weaker. No, let's, let's just keep kicking people then. Yeah. Kick the shit out of some squids. Does that do something if I have more than one? Grade two. So it did get a little bit stronger. I see these are the towers and bones of this game. Map. Is that? 
that's that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I, I must get double jump somewhere because there's definitely places I need to jump twice to get. To. This is a save point right here that I just totally ignored. Um, alright, so let's see. I can go back. Kind of the way I came to see what's up there. Let's go do that. I figured out the slot already. Thank you, game. I appreciate this, but ultimately I don't need it. So oh, you go oh, you do. Okay. Well, I wonder if my um my shard my, my shard stuff powers up if I have and if I absorb enough from the uh, the crystals. Uh, let's Can't get up there yet. Very well. It's worth it yeah! the check. You never know. I may have been able to. Alright. We're going now. Okay, kind of back the way I came. Got it. Off we go. I already had your power. I don't need you. And while it is helpful that he keeps telling me how to do stuff. I, uh, I already know how to do that, Castlevania. <gasps> Sorry, let's stay here on Castlevania. So. It's, uh, a little box. We have a box box. So, of course, we do. Claim it. Is that even? It is. Yeah! Oh, Jesus, it's slow as hell, though. Oh, that's 
that seems I, 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 generally, yeah! I generally like the yeah! ones that can uh, swing behind you as well. So let's just take a nice... Hold on, pirate hat. Alright, we have to. Oh, she's got a pirate hat. Oh, this is, this is so good. Oh my god, this is so good. I must get done. see you guys in the next video. This is a two-part let's take a look at, because why not? It's bloodstained, and I'm excited. So give me one sec, everybody, and we will be right back in the next video.